How about if we run that thing backwards? Hey, greetings, friends and brethren. Paul Mays with you. I am a Christian. It's good to see you. You ever run a verse backwards? You can learn a lot about a verse if you run it backwards. Let's look at uh, 2 Timothy 2.15 and Acts 17.11. Study to show yourself approved or be diligent to show yourself approved unto God, by God. A worker that needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's 2 Timothy 2.15. You know, if you run that backwards, it's pretty scary, you know? So study to be approved by God. You know what that means if you don't study, right? God doesn't approve of you. He doesn't. He expects us to study the word. Study to be approved. So if you don't study, guess what? You're not approved. You're not a worker. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself because you can't rightly divide the word of truth. You can't understand what God is teaching you from the Bible if you don't study it. So he said, study to show yourself approved unto God, a worker that needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So if you don't study, you don't know what he means in the Bible. You have no idea. That's the only way you're going to ever learn about God is through the completely sufficient word of God. That's 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17. If you don't study it, God does not approve of you. You should be ashamed of yourself. You cannot rightly divide. You cannot understand what it means because you're not a good worker. That's right. Let's do the same thing with uh, Acts 17, 11. God has told us that the Berean Jews in Acts 17, 11 were more noble. He said they were noble. The, these, these folks right here were more noble because they searched the scriptures daily to see if the things that they were being taught were so. See if that was the truth. So these people in Acts 17, 11, they're called noble for studying the Bible to see if what they were learning, what they were being taught, was the truth. So let's say you don't. Guess what happens? If you don't study the scriptures, if you don't search the scriptures daily to see if what you're being taught is the truth, you're not noble. You have no idea if what you're being taught is the truth. You can't know. If you don't study the Bible, you have no idea. You don't search the scriptures. You have no idea of what you're being taught is the actual truth on a spiritual matter. You have no idea. God doesn't approve of you. You're not noble. You have no idea what you're doing. You're not a worker, and you should be ashamed of yourself. That's what happens when you run 2 Timothy 2.15 and Acts 17.11 backwards. Just look, meaning look at it uh, as through the eyes of someone who isn't doing that, who isn't studying the Bible. Hey, and that's scary. I'll just tell you straight up. That is scary. I want God to approve of me. Yep. And I want to be able to know whether the people who are teaching me are teaching the truth. We're commanded to test the spirits. That's 1 John 4, 1. I love you. My name is Paul Mays. This is just a brief encouragement. I want to encourage you to study. God will approve of you, and you'll know what the truth is. Thanks for considering it. We'll see you next time. Study to be approved by God, a worker that needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Study to be approved.